Hello and welcome to Half Air Plays. We are continuing on with our Franbo series. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, um, but uh, I do want to at least finish this series out if nothing else on this channel. So, let's get started. We're continuing, if I recall, I think we just got everything we needed for the wizard. And now... We're supposed to do something, but I don't remember what. So let's start off by talking to this guy. Green Valley is taking care of my wand. How are you bringing it to me? Oh, we gotta get the wand. Ah, okay, that's right. So I gotta go to. I almost found the greatest answer of them all. Okay. So I need to go to that thing, the tree thing a jiggy. That is <coughs> right here. Okay. And here's the wand. I see the wand. Let's see how this works. Okay. So, I need to... Hit the levers in just the right way. Oop. Hmm. Okay, so it takes it to there. Brings it to there. And he brings it up there. This thing goes up. Mm. Now what? He goes down. No. There we go. <coughs> Ta-da! Okay. Yeah, yeah, I doubt I'm going to get to go home yet. But let's go back to the wizard. This freaky thing going by. Okay. Items. Wand. Use. Here's your wand, sir wizard. Oh, Magnificent Splendid, you did it! <clears throat> really? But where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones. The stones are very, very special. What I can do is place the stones on the locks of the door. But you, you are the only one who can turn the key and actually open the door. Good enough. I'll do it. Oh, I see. The king told me he would show me where the door is. Ah, then we should go and talk with him, don't you think? Hmm, wait. I suspect you can't go return home looking like a tree. Oh, I almost forgot. Yes, you're right. Can you bring my human body back? Yes, I can. This is exciting. I haven't done this in hundreds of years. Let's make a human. Yes, give me your clothing. I need to smell it. What are you, a bloodhound? Here, sir, my clothing. Mmm, let me smell this. Sniff. This can work. We will make a human. Oh, this is so exciting. Good. Now go to the center of the Star of Isthersta. <clears throat> and think about your body, your head, your leg, the other leg, and your arm, both of them. Now concentrate. And the page... The screen shakes. I float. Randomly selected elephant. Elephants? <laughs> Randomly selected elements! Find your path to your true essence. Become Fran the human now! Oh, oh, wait a second. That doesn't look right. But I look right. Huh? Are you alright? Uh, what happened? Is it done? And I'm Fran again. Oh, wow. Thank you much, sir. You really are a great wizard. Yes, that's my name. Great wizard because of the greatness. Hmm. I think we have to go to the king now so he can show me the door. 
Yes, I, I'll be right back, right there. I have to finish something. I'll be there. Go now. Okay. So now, we're going back to the king. Uh, I believe it's this way. This way. Down here. Up here. The king better be there. You know? Bugs. Okay! Everything is fine. Hold on. That's like... Who? Oh, what? It feels like heaven. That's a weird throne. Creepy. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Mr. Midnight's right here. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you, I'm not! Let Mr. Midnight go now. We kill the traitors, because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor! He promised me to be by my side. He promised! As your mommy and daddy did? Who promised to take good care of you? If you recall, they were killed early on in the game. Actually, before the game actually started. Wake up, Fran. You are surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the one who's always by your side. But who are you? Now let's get rid of this traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. Okay. Go away. Go away. It wasn't me. Okay, weird visions. And is this the king? I... Fran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry you feel that way. You should be happy now. You find the stones and you became human again. That is very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear. And I feel I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that because you love me. Who's talking? Okay. Okay, I, I don't know who's talking now. I won't. I know that because you love me. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very much. Okay. So she was telling her, Fran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Now, let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes, yes, let's do this. <clears throat> and he walks off. Hopefully we're near the end. I have a feeling we're not, though. So we're just going to follow this guy. Here we are. Yes, but where is the door? Oh, right. I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? Yes, that was the whole point. I'm sure, sir. All right, here we go. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. Let my people go. Oh, wow. We are going home, kitty. And here come... Ho ho ho! Zio the king! Good day to you! I've brought the stone so this lovely creature can go home! Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It will be strange to be far away from you all. Really? How strange will it be? Then don't leave! I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Valokas. And she is not ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard, place the stones. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? You know what the Velocus told you about facing your truth. 
Ah, yes, I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. And here come the stones. Yes. We got the stones. Why do I feel a puzzle coming up? Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You are the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see. Does this do anything? Probably not. Yeah. This is kind of pointless. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go. Hey, we got a puzzle. Just what I said. Now, let's see. So I have a feeling... Oh, hello! Okay. Oh, goodness. Well, that was pretty easy. Once you figured it out. I smell victory again! You did it, Fran. You can go home now. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control. And I think I like it. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. We won't forget you. You are a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot. Palontras gave me this for you. It's a box. Oh, thank you. Tell Palontras that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyway... I'll tell him and don't worry. Palontras is better now. Oh, and before you go, you must know, before you return to your reality, you will go through the secret woods. The woods are a kind of invisible passage between our realities. And you may even encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. But just run! They are quite slow. And you are telling me this now? Huh, that sounds very scary. Don't worry, you'll do fine. <laughs> I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentle goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I like you very much. Goodbye. And we step into the frame of twigs. The portal. The doorway to another dimension. Do 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 Okay, so now... Oh, do I need to... Whoa! Okay. Do I do anything? Oh, jump. Okay. Run! So I gotta use my mouse buttons to jump at the right spot. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that. Okay. Just follow the cat. The cat tells me what to do. Oh! I got to do it all over again? Oh, this could be uh, very frustrating. Okay. Because <laughs> this cat jumps further than I do. Okay, run, 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 like you've never ran before! There we go. That was a far one. Oh, another door. A troll, run! Okay. Wow, I was almost there the first time. 
Chapter 4! Okay, my imaginary friend. Oh, great, so we still got a lot to go. Okay. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Well, look, there's a can on a string. And the door's gone. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Yeah, aren't we all? Mr. Midnight, look, I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into a thirst? Uh, that was a long detour. Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep on going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. Okay, so what do I have? I have all the stuff. Let's examine this box. I wonder why Palantros gave this to me. I can't open it. Maybe there's a secret code or something. Or maybe it can't be opened at all! Yeah. Are those my pills? Wow, but where are they going? We don't want those pills again! Do we not remember what those pills did to us? Why would I even give a flying flip about a tree? Okay. Home. Home. I guess home is in that direction. You think? Kitty, did you see that? The pills move by themselves. No! There's a string! They didn't move by themselves! Someone's pulling them on a string! Yes, I think that's very strange. Golly, people, come on. Pills don't move. Oh, you want to show me the way back home? Or someone is leading me to my certain doom. Little tree house. Yeah, great. Okay. There are the pills again. Oh, and there goes the cat. Put your paw on it. Put your paw on it. Ah! See? 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 <sighs> Fran. Oh, I should have touched the pills. Bad Fran. Bad, bad. Well, you know what? Luckily for me, I got a knife. And I can use the bloody knife on the sick trap. So I'm out. That didn't take long. Ouch. And skeleton with a top hat. Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce your, myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I am the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see. Really? I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, Aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear Fran, the long man with the top hat? I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary. You see, I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that... You are able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm. All right. You seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Okay, bony guy. Yep. 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 
Hmm. Okay, is there anything I need? I'm gonna talk to Mr. Midnight first, just to... Oh my dear, should we trust Itward? I don't know, my dear. Let's pretend we do. So he won't think we are scared of him, alright? Alright, kitty, I can do that. And what's in the next room? Behold the Itwood flying machine. What do you think? Well, can it fly? It's all right, but can it really fly? Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the Ultra Reality. Inside the Ultra Reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane, like me. But sir... Should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Wait? Of course not! You can help by getting water and fireberries, alright? Alright, it gives me something to do. I better do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great! Here is my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. And the fireberries! You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. All right, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, Kamalas, I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes. You see, here. Great! Invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap, like, in one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great! I'll be preparing the machine! So we got pills again! Let's just remind ourselves of what these pills do. Alright! <laughs> Weird monsters. Wait. Delicious berries. I don't think these are on fire. No. This is, like, really horrible. Ooh, I look completely deformed. I wonder if this Fran is really me, but from some other place. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty flesh flesh. Mm-mm. Did I just say that? Did I... You are the Kamalas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Oh, golly. Really? Really? I'm going to say that I'm tasty? Okay, I need to get the water. Okay. So much hair, so shiny. I'm in a magical world of hair. Hmm, delicious berries, but these are not the ones on fire. Okay, so let's go this way. Okay, there's nothing here. We gotta do this in the pill world. Okay. So much hair and so shiny. Okay. And we're following veins, it looks like. Ugh, oh, great. The right vein of mine. Ah! There's the fireberries. Okay. Get out! Get out! You are trespassing on my territory! Mm, excuse me, I thought you were dead. Hell. Okay, that was home, now it says hell. Okay. How can you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady! 
I am very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? I am not a moose. I am a data worm. Excuse me? A deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deedle worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what creatures took from it and I don't need any more. Okay, so you eat animals, they digest, you poop, and it goes back into the ground. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? <laughs> Down here, creature. Can't you see me? It looks like a little reaper worm. Oh, there you are. You are so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Because I'm silly. Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb it to reach the fireberries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. And by now, touching a dead moose is nothing. But the fireberries are on fire! You can hurt yourself! Those berries are on fire! Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that! Come on now, I'll keep working! Thank you, sir. Okay. I can't take the fireberries. They are on fire. Do I have anything? Oh, uh, ho, ho, ho. I won't even try that. Can I cut them down? <sighs> Aha! Okay, so now we cut them. Now, will they go on fire in my pocket if I... Let's examine the, the fireberries that are not on fire anymore. Okay. Oh, I can't just jump down. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, good. They're still not on fire. Yay! <laughs> okay. So much hair still. Okay. So now we need water. Hello, are those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? Are you those shiny insects that get cut? Okay. We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I met some of your kind before, and I helped them get free from curiosity. Oh, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. And it kills cats. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing. But are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. Okay, I need water. Where do you get water? Oh, look. There's water. Now. Oh, there is the bridge. I knew we were on the other side. Okay. Okay, so what I need to do. Okay, can I talk to this lady? Can I get some hair from her? Let's see. What if I take my bucket, use it with the hair? I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why, that sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Do 
Do I need to? Okay, we know this. The bucket is now full of water. Ah, oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong. But does home belong somewhere? Okay, I'll bite. What? I'm sorry. I didn't understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I will try to do that some other time. Bye. Get my bucket of water. Okay. It doesn't weigh anything. That's good. Okay, let's go back to... You know, am I going to waste my water if I do this? I can't do that. Okay. I bet I'm nutritious. Yeah, okay. Did you find the fire berries and water already? We need them for the journey back home. Yes, okay. Do I need to, I guess I need to give them to you? Sir, I brought the fire berries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent! They will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. And then the water. Sir Itward, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They are very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. All these realities. This is Andrew's story, isn't it? Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. Ah, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. Oh, I've got a little bird. A mechanical bird! Okay. And buttons. Oh, a doorbell. Is anybody home? No, and a lever. Hmm, I wonder what this lever does. Up and down. Okay, yeah, you know, let's not mess with this stuff. Okay, let's go inside. Uh, and we're all in. And we're taking off. Are we taking off? It's a rocket! And do we have a cutscene? No, we're inside. Okay. It's 2.36. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Okay. You know, I think... I'm going to stop here. We got inside, we got moving, so when we start next time, we're going to be in the rocket ship. And we'll see where the rocket ship takes us. So, uh, thanks for watching. Half Air Plays. Uh, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, Half Air on Twitter is at completely full. And occasionally I will post codes for free games or information on how you can enter drawings for free games. Uh, and, yeah... And I'll still say go ahead and check out my website, www.half-air.com. Uh, I'm not posting there much anymore, but, you know, I, I might have something coming out soon. Um, uh, so just you can check over there, too. So for Half Air Plays, this is Terrence saying thanks for watching and good night.